Hello, we are live. Let's just get connected here. Hello, everybody. And, oops, the glitches of going live. And we are doing a bulletproof coffee here at Espresso Bella showroom in Stouffville. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it live on my, on my news feed. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'll leave this with you then in case you see, see me going live here. Yeah. If not, I'll just share it afterwards. Mm -hmm. So welcome to, um, to Bulletproof Coffee 101 here. Now there's a lot of buzz about Bulletproof Coffee, but essentially it's butter and coffee. And it sounds like it's a fad, a trend, it sounds disgusting, is it good, is it not? What is it? So we're here to kind of debunk and sample and talk about Bulletproof Coffee. So I thought I'd start off with a little joke. And uh, I heard about this guy who went to the doctor and he said, every time I go to the doctor, or every time I drink coffee, I get this stabbing pain in my right eye. And the doctor said, did you take the spoon out of your mug? So, but I'm bummed. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So bulletproof coffee, what is it? So essentially bulletproof coffee is butter and coffee. And, um, the Bulletproof Coffee itself was coined by a, a man named uh, Dave Asprey. And so along with this Bulletproof Coffee, he's also, you know, got all these, he's got a marketing and a brand with it. So he's got the Bulletproof Coffee itself. He's got the oil and the butter that he sells and it's Bulletproof. So he's coined the term Bulletproof Coffee. And so it is attached with a brand and a marketing scheme, but sort of for our purposes today, we're really going to talk more about less about Bulletproof Coffee and more about bulletproofing your coffee. So we, we can use the name brand for sure because it is linked to a so-called superior um, brand and ingredients. But I think for most of us, we can use, the ingredients themselves in their whole forms and get as the equal kind of benefits from it as well. So what are the benefits of Bulletproof Coffee? So there are, there, the buzz around it is that it improves mental clarity, it helps with satiety, uh, it gives you mental clarity and focus, it helps with weight loss, it helps with intermittent fasting, fasting helps people reduce cravings um, because it, it because it's good for the nervous system and the brain, it will help reduce those cravings and it's just great for overall health. So if we take a look at the individual ingredients in a Bulletproof coffee, we get a better sense of how they can all work together. So coffee is most known for boosting its energy levels because of the caffeine. And so that's kind of one of the obvious points of the coffee portion of it, but coffee is actually really high in antioxidants as well. And antioxidants um, kill off the free radicals that are in our bodies that cause disease. And so when we have enough antioxidants in our nutrition, then we're just living more optimally healthy. Um, and there are essential nutrients like riboflavin, manganese, potassium, magnesium, and niacin in coffee as well. So I really advocate whatever you're eating or drinking, make sure that you're getting the best quality that you can. So, you know, a, a high quality, freshly brewed coffee, such as the coffee that we have here at Espresso Bella, you want to look for something that's organic, something that's fair trade as well. Um, so coffee, um, it, it's good for your energy levels, obviously because of the caffeine. Um, it's also been linked to athletes as well for their physical performance, just because of that boost of energy as well. And the health benefits include lowering the risk of type two diabetes, Parkinson's, depression, cancer, stroke, um, and then protection from Alzheimer's, dementia, and liver cirrhosis. So there are benefits of a really great high quality coffee as well. The other ingredient in a Bulletproof coffee is grass-fed butter. Now, some people might ask, why can't we just use conventional butter? It's a whole lot cheaper. A brick of butter like this is like half the size of a regular brick of butter, and it's double the price. This is like 11 or $12 for half, 
half a brick of butter. But when you look at the butter, um, you can see that it's way more yellow. Um, and the reason is, is because grass-fed butter is cows eating grass. And cows are supposed to eat grass. They have nine stomachs, and the way that their digestive systems are supposed to work, they're grazers, they're supposed to be eating grass. And conventional dairy and conventional meat has cows eating grains. There's grains in their feed and corn. And of course, a lot of us are trying to get away from, from grains and too many carbohydrates. And think about it, if, our, if the food that we're eating is eating grain, and then we're consuming the products from those animals, then we're getting the grains and the carbohydrates in our bodies as well. And so it's that trickle effect. And so when we're eating um, and consuming dairy and meat products where the, the cattle is grass fed, they're eating what mother nature intended them to eat. So, um, and they're grazing. So that's why it's more expensive to buy the butter because you know the farmers need more land because the cattle are actually grazing. They're eating the grass that is growing rather than getting, you know, dumping feed into a trough for them. So, um, so that's why I really advocate for grass fed butter as opposed to even, you might see organic butter, but organic butter may be still conventionally fed. So unless it says organically grass-fed butter, um, grass-fed cattle might be eating you know, um, organic grains and organic feed. So you wanna kind of watch that, that piece on it. So grass-fed butter is a really great source of vitamin K2, which is supportive of bone and um, heart health as well. And so any of those, um, those myths that have gone around about saturated fat being uh, dangerous for heart health, that has totally been debunked. Um, science has proven that saturated fat does not contribute to heart disease, high cholesterol, heart attacks. Um, that's in fact totally been, been debunked scientifically. So saturated fat is actually helps to protect um, and contribute to heart health. Um, so saturated fats contribute to good heart health and consuming animal products is not associated with any increased risk of heart attack. What is associated with the increased risk of heart attack is all the bad fats from the processed and the fast food that we're eating, not the real whole foods. So um, the uh, grass-fed butter is also higher in omega-3 fatty acids, which also help to contribute to our overall health versus conventional dairy. And another piece of the puzzle for uh, bulletproof coffee is something called MCT oil. And MCT oil stands for medium chain triglycerides, and that's just the way that molecular, molecular the, the fatty chains are, are, are com comprised, composed. So coconut products and coconut oil is a really great source of MCT. So other whole foods that are good sources of MCT are the coconut family, palm kernel, and dairy products are also um, great sources of MCT oil. You can buy MCT oil that has been processed so it just contains MCT oil. Um, and then also, of course, the Bulletproof brand has their own MCT oil, which is called a brain octane, which they tout as being more superior to coconut oil or other MCT oil brands. I don't know if I'm sold on that because you do have to remember that when they're extracting, so if you start it with coconut oil, which has MCTs in it, this is a whole food. And then once we're processing it and extracting and separating things to get a purer form of oil, you're still over processing it. So from a whole foods advocacy stance, you know, uh, coconut oil is a great source for MCT medium chain triglycerides as well. So, but of course the Bulletproof brand says to go with their MCT oil as well. So um, another great thing about MCT oil versus the coconut oil, of course coconut oil, you're gonna have that coconut taste, whereas MCT oil in its pure form is tasteless and odorless. So you can add it to your coffees, you can add it to stew, you can add it to soups. It's just a really great way to, to get those, those essential fats into your diet in a really tasteful way. So, uh, taken all together, the coffee, the butter, and the MCT oil 
it is a high fat delicious beverage and people are often scared of fat and they might be thinking you know I'm gonna be drinking this you know elixir that is rich in fat you know what are the what are the complications here so drinking or consuming fat will not make you fat um, in fact the higher um, amount of fats that you're getting into your diet, you're converting, converting your body from being a sugar burning body to a fat burning body. So once your body adapts into a fat burning mode, because you're eating less sugar and consuming more fat, then your body is gonna start burning the fat that you have um, because it's in a fat burning mode. So for a lot of folks, when they incorporate bulletproof coffee as part of a ketogenic or a high fat diet, they do it for weight loss. Other purposes for doing it are for athletic performance, as well as for any, anything to do with the nervous system. So folks with depression or seizures or brain tumors or Parkinson's or depression. When you get higher fat diets, that helps anything to do with the brain and the nervous system because our brains are fat. So whether it's a child with ADD, we want that child eating more fat in their diet, um, or whether you suffer from depression, or whether you wanna lose weight, because again, cravings and a lot of what we eat is, in our day and age, it really is a mental thing. It's not so much physical or physiological. So we really need to make that switch and get our bodies from sugar burners to fat burners. And once you start incorporating more fats into your diet, you're gonna find that you're more satiated. So, um, you know, you're not gonna get hangry because your body and you're, you're evening out your blood sugar levels. So, um, so it's just a really great way to, including more fat in your diet is a great way to help curb those cravings and to keep your blood sugar at a stable level. And you'll avoid those peaks and valleys when we, when even from eating a piece of fruit that's, that's sugar or fruit juice, a fat is gonna help stabilize that. So a bulletproof coffee first thing in the morning is wonderful because it gives us that energy we need for the day. Um, and when people incorporate bulletproof coffees, often they are able to satiate themselves from breakfast until lunch. You really don't get hungry until about you eat your breakfast at six or seven. You're really not feeling hungry again until, um, until about lunchtime. So, and that people are, are in awe by that, but especially with, with being busy modern lives, you know, we often get that cup of coffee in the morning, but we might, might not get breakfast. So this might be a good segue for a lot of folks as well. So I've got a couple caveats when we're, um, when we're consuming Bulletproof coffee. The one thing I would say is, you know, at the end of the day, Bulletproof coffee is coffee and butter and oil. So when on days that you decide to have a bulletproof coffee for your to replace your breakfast, make sure that lunch and dinner is very fiber rich. You've got lots of veggies, you've got green leafy veggies and some lean proteins as well. Cuz you want to make sure that your body's still getting all the nutrients and fiber from other foods. So, you know, if you know you're going to be, you know, going to pizza or wings at tonight, you know, then maybe don't have your bulletproof coffee. Maybe have your smoothie that has all the, you know, the spinach and the kale in it. Um, because you just want to be mindful that, that your body is getting everything that it needs. Sometimes when your body is not fat adapted, having one to two to four tablespoons of fat all at one time might make you feel a little bit sick might make your tummy feel a little bit nauseous. If that's the case, then you want to look at getting a digestive enzyme and that's going to help your body break down the fat. So that would only last for maybe a couple days if you were going to do bulletproof, um, start bulletproofing, just because your body will adapt to, um, to being, to transition to more of a fat burner in a pretty, um, pretty quickly. So I'm going to make two bulletproof samples for you. The first is going to be um, the, you know, the, the pure kind of bulletproof coffee, no bells and whistles. So all it is, is the coffee, the butter, and the MCT oil. So I've given you the recipes and is this four cups? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. So um, we're going to start with two cups of coffee. And again, you want a freshly brewed, high quality coffee like we have here from Espresso Bella. 
And next is your grass-fed butter. And I would say to start off with one tablespoon. Start off slow, start off even half a tablespoon if you're just getting started, because you don't want to have an upset tummy. So here's one tablespoon of our grass-fed butter. And when it's grass-fed, it is this bright yellow. And especially when we're consuming this this much butter at once, you do want to make sure that it is a that it is high quality. So there's our one tablespoon butter. And we've got our MCT high octane MCT oil. And if you this is for one serving. So this is how much you, you would drink. So it's, it is two cups of coffee. So, you know, take your time, read your paper, check your email, do what you need to do in the morning when you're, when you're having your, your bulletproof coffee. And you will be amazed. It really is filling. Like, you guys will sample this and, you know, I, you might have a later lunch because of it. So this is, we're going to blend this up and it is going to be beautiful. So it's gone from being that dark, rich coffee to being beautiful and creamy and bubbly. And I mean, it looks like there's cream in here, right? It's got that color. So. So this is, this is a classic bulletproof. And there you go, come and grab them. So there's, I'll say another little joke. I hope this doesn't offend the man in the room. But another little joke I heard is, uh, you know, I like, I like my men the way I like my coffee. Rich, dark, and keeps me up all night. So, <laughs> so cheers, here you go. Let me know what you think. Oh. And the, uh, you don't taste, it doesn't taste like you're eating a stick of butter, no. Yeah. Yeah. And you, a cappuccino. And you want to make sure that you're getting an unsalted butter because, I mean, you don't want salt in your coffee, right? Um, so, yeah. And it's, and notice the foam on top because it's been blended in a high speed blender. Yeah. Yeah, it does taste good, right? It, it is like a coffee, like a cappuccino. It's beautiful. So I'll put, I'll put some more over here so you can top that up. And now we're going to take the Bulletproof coffee up a notch because um, there are many ways to, to make beautiful elixirs or blends using the principles of a Bulletproof coffee or a high-fat high fat breakfast option. So, again, we're going to start with the base of a freshly brewed, um, high-quality coffee. So, again, we can start with two Any cups. More? Oh, I do, if that would be. <laughs> there we do. So, we want to start with our two cups of coffee, and I'll just have another little sip here. Mm -hmm. And we can play around with some of the flavor combinations, depending on... I mean, some people like a sweeter coffee. This one doesn't have any sweetener in. And to be honest, you I'm, I, you don't really need it. And I'm not a coffee drinker. Uh, I love the smell of coffee, but I don't like drinking coffee or the aftertaste. But I do like the Bulletproof coffee. I think because it's, it's creamy and it's rich. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just, it's, it's delicious. So even from a non-coffee drinker, I happen to like these. So another way to bulletproof your coffee is, again, we're starting with the two cups of water. 
Um, you can add vanilla for a little, a little sweetness. So about a teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, you can ha add, uh, you know, about half a teaspoon of some cinnamon. Another ingredient I like to add to my morn, especially my morning um, bulletproof beverages is something called collagen. And collagen is a pure protein and it is, I mean, we often think of collagen, you know, actresses get it, you know, liposuction from their butt and put it in their, in their lips. Um, this is collagen and um, it's an animal-based pure protein. And the benefits of collagen are that it is very, um, it's very helpful for bones and ligaments. So if you know anyone who is suffering with body pain, arthritis, um, muscle injury, um, anybody post, uh, post surgery, uh, or going through chemotherapy, people who need that added protein. Um, this is just the coffee, yeah. Um, the collagen is a pure protein. So unlike a protein powder that has other, you know, other properties to it, collagen is just pure protein. It's tasteless, it's odorless. So again, it's one of those beautiful, um, rich whole food ingredients that you can add to smoothies you can add to soups you know especially you know chil there's often children who aren't getting enough protein or women or athletes aren't getting enough protein or like i said if you're recovering from surgery and you need that added protein or you're going through chemotherapy and you just don't even feel like eating um adding collagen to just sprinkle it on anything you're getting that pure protein and it really it's not full of junk or anything so you can put a couple tablespoons of collagen in and then you're getting a little protein in your body first thing in the morning We'll top up our two cups of coffee. And instead of this time of putting the MCT oil in, I'm gonna put in um, coconut oil. It will give a little bit of a coconutty kind of flavor, but since we've got, you know, we've got a little bit of sweetness from the cinnamon and from the um, vanilla, the Coconut is a nice add as well. And this is just, you know, I, I didn't bring the whole entire tub of coconut oil that I have at home because I just get mine from an organic one from Costco. Um, but there you go. And what's nice about the coconut oil is, yes, it has the coconutty taste, but it is a whole food. Like it hasn't, it, it's not as highly processed as the oil is. Um, and it's got other uh, ingredients or other benefits as, as well. So there's our coconut oil, and of course we need, it wouldn't be bulletproof without the butter. So in this, we have about two tablespoons of the fat. And if you were just starting out and drinking this whole thing yourself, start out with, I, I would start out with one to two tablespoons of fat, and then some people and proponents of a ketogenic diet, which is a high fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrate diet, they'll have as much as four tablespoons of fat in a bulletproof beverage. Um, mind you, they are intermittently fasting, usually with that protocol as well. Because again, when you're eating enough fat, you're just not hungry. Your body is satiated. So, and I do have a little bit of maple syrup as well for sweetness. What do you guys, do you want to try it with maple syrup or sweetness or? Sure. Okay. We'll put a little, I'll put a little dollop of that in, a little sweetness. So the, the classic bulletproof coffee we had was just simple and delicious. This one we're taking up a notch. It's a little more special. Um, here we go. And again, you just blend it in a high speed blender and it just gets combined and frothy and beautiful. There we go. 
Now you can bulletproof other drinks as well. You know, being at Espresso Bella, we want to use coffee, but um, I enjoy um, bulletproof matcha, and matcha is a type of tea, and I put the MCT oil uh, along with almond milk, water, tea, uh, the matcha green tea powder, uh, and collagen, and I have that for, for my breakfast in the morning. Um, and you can also do just a high fat elixirs in the morning um, with with coffee alternatives, something like a dandy blend or uh, elixirs that have um, grass fed butter and turmeric and cinnamon and almond milk and I mean any any combination of flavors that you enjoy you can certainly put in um, put into your your bulletproof coffee. So this one's going to be a little more of kind of like a dessert one, but you can just see how, the, sort of the head on that, the, how frothy and beautiful that is. And I haven't tried this exact combination before, so I think we'll be in for a treat. So again, when you are um, bulletproofing your coffee, you want to really make sure that the rest of your day is really plant rich has lots of whole foods because, again, this just, it's coffee and butter and there are beautiful properties to coffee and butter, but we want to balance it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a whole foods advocate, so you want to balance it with good nutrition from other whole foods as well. So the, um, the benefits of starting your day, help yourselves here, the benefits of, of starting your day with a bulletproof coffee helps with your energy, your clarity, your mental focus, helps with weight loss, helps with society, uh, satiating your body, um, energy and performance. And uh, yeah, what do you think of this one? It's good. It's good? Yeah, that's yummy. Yeah, so I think I put about half a teaspoon of cinnamon in that. So yeah, cheers, that one's nice as well. And you can taste a little bit of the coconut as well. Yeah. yeah. So did you have any questions about bulletproof coffee or bulletproofing anything? So it's from once a day? That's yes, yeah. So you'd want to have it once a day. I mean, really, I would, if, if, you're, if you want to have it for um, a period of time, say, for you're, you're, you're purposefully trying to lose weight or you've got a, a purpose for doing it, I would say, you know, do it for a, a period of a month. But like anything, I would recommend you know, have your bulletproof coffee one day, have a smoothie another day, you know, just incorporate it into your repertoire of what you have for breakfast. Because when you have this much fat in it, it, it is a meal replacement, right? You could cut back on the, on the amount of grass-fed butter or MCT oil that you're putting into it, and then when you do that, you're gonna be more hungry, so you could eat something else. Um, for some people, this might be a really great snack in the afternoon as well, that three o'clock hump in the afternoon, because for many of us, if we don't eat between lunch and dinner, we're gonna get home, grab a bag of chips, and then we're not making good food choices. Yeah. Um, so this this would be a good option um, for, for you know, or I wouldn't go too much later than three o'clock for some of us who yeah. tend to stay awake with coffee. But I know, I, I noticed with myself having uh, the MC, the pure MCT oil, it really has given me a boost in the morning. So, mm -hmm. and you can get the, the Bulletproof from uh, Health on Main, uh, but again, you can also just use your good old coconut oil for the MCT. So essentially, Bulletproof coffee is your coffee, your grass-fed butter, and MCT oil. And then any little, any little options that you want to add to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, cheers. And there's, top yourself up with some more. Yeah, this one, this one's nice. Um, I mean, you could add, I'm trying to think, ter like you maybe want to add some more um, powdery things. So, um, some I don't know if you've heard of maca powder, M-A-C-A. -A. Maca root is, um, it's great for energy as well. It's great for reproductive health for, for women and for men. It's great for libido as well. Um, it's got a caramel kind of mocha cappuccino flavor. So, a half a teaspoon in there would help to boost that up as well. Um, for something anti-inflammatory, I, I don't know how it would taste, but you could add, add 
turmeric as well, which is that yellow um, spice that's in, in curries. Uh, and turmeric is really beneficial for anti-inflammatory, it's anti-inflammatory properties, so you could play with that, with, with the butter as well, um, to just be a really nourishing uh, food. Um, yeah, and like I said, the green tea powder is nice. That wouldn't be with coffee, I don't think. But um, yeah, I mean, kind of your, your, your possibilities are endless. I really think, you know, adding, we wouldn't think of adding butter to a smoothie, but often we add different fats to our smoothies, like flaxseed and hemp seeds and coconut oil. And so, I mean, you could even add your grass-fed butter to, to a smoothie in the morning as well. What, what differentiates a smoothie from the Bulletproof coffee is the Bulletproof coffee is hot. And for, for the, those of us who need that little caffeine fix in the morning too, it's, it's that comfort. comfort. Would you add the, like the matcha or the turmeric just always a teaspoon? I would, yeah. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Yeah, because those are potent um, herbs. And yeah, a little goes a long way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because this morning I made one, uh, this mor uh, sort of an anti-inflammatory elixir. And I use turmeric um, ghee, which is a clarified butter, as well as um, dandy blend. I put some goji berries in there, hemp seeds, MCT oil, um, and that, that and ginger. And so that was a really great one for for being anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope you try. I hope you try some of this and use some of the delicious coffee from Espresso Bella and. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a winner. And there's my number one fan. Just in time. What are you time for? A bulletproof a coffee, a sample. <laughs> We've got some here. So yeah, so hopefully you, uh, you try some out. So I'll just say bye to all my friends here.